Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about one step inequalities. And we're going to solve each inequality and graph its a solution. So if I was given this inequality, negative 12 is greater than x minus 7. So what I want to do here is first I'm going to simplify this to get x by itself. Isolate it. Treat it basically as if this inequality was an equal sign. I'm going to add a 7 on both sides. And a negative 12 plus 7 is a negative 5. And so we're given that x is greater than negative 5. Or we can think of it like this. Flip it around. x is less than negative 5. The open part is to negative 5. And the closed part of the inequality goes to the x. And there we go. We have x is less than negative 5. So how do I graph that? Well, let's go make a number line here. I want to make sure we have negative 5 in there. And there's different techniques. Some people always put, you know, whatever number you're starting at right in the middle. So let's go with, uh, let's go right here. Right, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8. Okay. Well, x right there, x is less than, less than, meaning less than negative 5. At negative 5, we have an open circle. We do an open circle there at negative five, and then it says it's less than. So we're gonna we're gonna write uh, to the left, right? We'll make our, our bar our bar go to the left. Now sometimes it's easier to see if it's doing above it like that to the left. Um, but either way, there it is. It's one or the other. Don't do both of them. Okay. So. That graph shows that x is less than all these values that's less than negative 5. So let's recap. We started with negative 12 is greater than x minus 7. Brought the 7 over. I had negative 5 uh, is uh, greater than, excuse me, x. I then rewrote that to have x come first. So that made it x is less than, flip the inequality, negative 5. So when I graph that, uh, I started negative 5, put an open circle at negative 5, and then I air, my arrow went to the left because it's less than that value. Okay? And remember, graph only one or the other. Don't do both those either on the bar or right above it.